Hello guys, welcome to the Wix Club. In this Wix tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add reading time to your Wix website. As you can see, I have a bunch of text right here and this text is actually going to be displayed, displaying how long it will take to be read. Alright, so this text shows it's 2 minutes to read through here and it actually makes a lot of sense. Alright, so I have two types of pages here. I have the static or the regular page and I also have the dynamic pages. So here is my repeater holding the items from my database. And each of these items, if you open them up, you're going to see that we have different read time for them. So I have a very short uh, description right here. This description here is what we're trying to count and then displaying how long to read through. Alright, so you can see this is this takes only one minute to read. For the next item, it also takes one minute to read, but then it has more words. So I'm going to be showing you how that happens or how that works in a moment. Then the next one is uh, two minutes to read because as you can see, it has more words to read. So before we get started, guys, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And also hit the like button and check out the description. I have left a link to the code and also a link to this tutorial site. So here you can see I have two text items, two text elements. The first text element is the one showing the time and the second one is the one that is holding the article itself. Alright, so what we're going to do right here is to actually um, count the number of words we have in here and then perform some mathematical function and then get the average reading time. So before we get started, turn on your dev mode right over here. Turn that on to make use of your Wix code panel. In our code section, you can see we have the unready function, which means that all the codes in here is only gonna run when our element or the text elements have finished loading. So the next item we have is a constant called post. I have assigned the text or the article text. So the article text, which is the ID of my article, which is right over here. This is the text um, element, which is the article text. The ID is called article text. I have assigned the text or all the text um, items we have into this constant called post. When I click on that, you can still have made use of that in my website, in my code section, which is over here. All right, so you can just assign that. And the next thing we have is the AVG words per minute. So um, some researchers may say it takes approximately one minute to read through 260 words, 265, 270, 280, 290 words. You know, it depends, all right, on the research, all right. So those researchers have different ideas or, or understanding of how that works. Uh, but for my tutorial, I'm just going to use 270 words. I'm going to assume that it's going to take um, approximately one minute to read through uh, 270 words. Next thing we have is a function which is called a set reading time. So this function which is over here is where most of the calculation and the most important calculation will take place. So as you can see inside this function, I have a variable called count and I have another variable called time. The first variable which is called count is actually being assigned to a function which is get word count function. The get word count function is over here and what this function does is just to count the number of words that we have in our article text. When I click on the post, you can see that this is the constant that we had declared earlier. So it's going to count the number of words that we have in our article text elements, which is this element. So it's going to just go through everything, all the words here and count the number of words we have. So that's what the get word count does. And then the next one is called the time, which is the next variable. This variable is assigned to the calculation, which is going to show us the exact minute or how long it's going to take to read through. So we have the math.seal. The math.seal is a function that's going to round up our answer to the next upper integer. Inside that function, as you can see, we have the count, which is the number of words we have gotten then it's been divided by the average words per minute which is 270. Definitely this division is going to cause us to have decimal places and that is what we're trying to avoid and that is why we have used the math.seal function to round up whatever answer or value that we have to the next upper integer which for example if you have uh, maybe we divided that and we have 1.2 or 1.3 it's going to round that up to 2 so here is the main time all right so the next item we have is the id of our reading time okay our reading time which is the text element of this time uh, elements the one that shows how long it's going to take us to read through this 
all right it's called the reading time so just put in your id there and then this is equal to the time itself or how long it's going to take to read the value we got from here and then we're going to add another string which is called min read all right so let's say for example i i want to get rid of this text here i want to just say five all right so if we just preview that you're going to see that it's going to return to min red okay so this was the string i just added to the value itself so that is just all the code does and uh, before we get to the dynamic section of this tutorial i'm just going to do something here i'm going to um, reduce the number of items i have so i'm just going to cut this out okay i'm just going to also get to this point and cut that out so let's see how long it's going to take to read through so this is going to take one minute to read definitely this won't take up to one minute but because we're making use of the math.sale it's going to round up whatever value we have to the next upper integer which as you can see is obviously one all right so maybe we had something now 0 0.2 0 0.1 and it's now it's going to take one minute because it's been rounded up all right so let's do the opposite of what we did uh, by cutting instead of uh, actually cutting that out let's add more words and let's see how long it's gonna take to read all right so i'm just adding more words so i think that's enough let's get over to the preview now you can see it takes nine minutes to read through this huge text and this actually makes a lot of sense okay this is actually a very perfect example all right so we're done with the static page now let's head back into the dynamic section all right guys so here in the dynamic page as you can see i have my text element for the reading time and i also have another text element which is the description all right so this description as you can see i have just left the id as text 5 i didn't change the id and this is because we are not going to be using the id of the text itself since this is a dynamic page we are only getting the items from our database so we're going to count the items from our database and not from the text itself all right so when we head into the code you're going to notice that the code is quite different from the previous or the static page all right and this is because we're going to be getting our items straight from the dynamic page all right so here you can just simply go ahead and connect your text item to data if you want that okay it's just fine so what we're going to do here is actually to use our data set to get the items directly from our database all right the first one here is our data set id which is called dynamic data set all right so we have added the unready function for our data set we have a variable called the item obj and this item obj is uh, is actually assigned to the data set get current item function all right so this is going to get the current items details and in this case we're going to be getting the description details itself so right over here is the field key of the field that we are trying to get which is the field connected to this one this field is called description field as you can see it's called a description field all right so let's head into the database and see how that looks like all right so here in database you can see that this is the field description field which i'm trying to work with now this field as you can see has different items or it has different descriptions and these descriptions what i have done is added one paragraph more than the other this is this has only one paragraph the second one has two paragraphs and the third one has three paragraphs one through three and it took the fourth one and so on all right so what i did i did that because i wanted to be able to you know check out how how long it's going to take to read through each of the items so what we're going to do is to copy the field key of this section which is called the description all right so just copy this field key into your code all right so just going to display your field key right over here this is my field key all right so remember that our const post earlier on the other static page was just the id of our article text but then we're not working with article text we're working with the field on our database so that was the reason why i have made use of the data set gets current item function and this function has gone into the data set database to get the description of that current item and then this post is taken over to the get word count and we're going to count how many words are inside the description and then return back to our set reading time function and then here is where all the mathematical operations occur okay and then it's just been displayed 
all right so guys this is just all what the dynamic page code looks like you just have to change your data set id over here and here and then next you just need to change the id of your reading time text which is this one over here all right so most importantly you need to also change your field key which is the, the field you're trying you're getting your your items from so here right over here just change that all right so that is all you need to do guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out the description and uh i hope you like this video give it a like a thumbs up and also share with your friends and see you in the next video